Hi, I'm Allie from Infragistics, and I'm here to show you how you can quickly create a great looking, functional mobile app that you can deploy to any phone with just a few lines of code by using our Ignite UI controls. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new project with Visual Studio. What I want to do is create an ASP.NET web application. Now in this case, I'm not going to be using ASP.NET, I'm just going to create an empty project. The whole reason behind this is that everything I'm going to do is going to be done in HTML. The first thing I want to do is right click in my application, go to add, I'm going to add a new HTML page. We'll just call this one default. Inside default, you have a little bit of subtext here. Now, you're going to be using jQuery mobile, so you need to reference JavaScript files and all this other stuff. Since you're just getting started, you probably don't know how to do all of that, but that's okay. We've made it pretty easy. I'm going to bring up our website, igniteui.com. Here on igniteui.com, you have the entire samples experience. We can look at reference applications, different types of showcase samples, then it drills down to every single type of control that we have in this toolkit, complete with samples. What I want to do is go to the list view samples. I'm going to click list view, and now you can see that each one of these has a nice view of the sample running. And as I scroll down, we have different code views. I want to click over to full page, and I'm going to show you here what we've done. In every single sample, you can see that we have all of the script references that you need. So when you get started, all you have to do is simply go to igniteui.com, copy what you need, and then paste it into your projects. So why don't we go ahead and do that? I'm going to go here and grab the whole head section. I'm going to right click and say copy. Now another option you have, which is another little trick I use, is in Visual Studio, I also use my toolbox to create snippets. So in the same way that I just copied that text over to the clipboard, I can just grab my mobile head text and have the same results. Here I have all of the script references that I need. You're probably wondering, wait a minute, we didn't need any folders. We didn't add anything to our project. The reason is, Everything is on the internet. You can see here that we're getting our jQuery CSS right from code.jQuery.com. We're getting the Infragistics script references right from the Infragistics global CDN. You don't even have to deploy files to your own servers. You can just use the Infragistics global CDN. And we always have the latest bits up there for both trial versions and the full versions. So we make it super easy for you to get up and running. So that's all I have to do to get started. Now what I want to do is create a simple list view type application which lists the customers and their orders in a hierarchical view. It's very common from what we've seen in most applications today, where we see a list, you click it, and then you see some more data. I've got a couple things already set up for me. I'm going to go ahead and grab my mobile list view and drag it into the body of my page. You can see here, we've just added a few lines of code. This is jQuery mobile, so it makes it really easy to have data binding set up. What I'm doing is I'm referencing a script file that we have up on the server. This script file is Northwind customers with orders. If I right click and copy this, then I open up Chrome. What we're going to see is the actual JSON file that will come back. You can see that this is all the text that we get back. Just as easily, this can be an O data service or any type of data you want. With the Ignite UI toolkit, we have data connectors and parsers that let you connect and parse any type of data in the client very easily. In this case, I'm just using my Northwind customers with orders, returning the JSON file and working with it in my page. What I'm doing here is I'm binding the data role to this simple unordered list to the Infragistics list view control. So IG list view is actually what we're going to instantiate onto the page. By assigning the data role to an HTML element, we're able to render that on the page. You can see that I don't want to auto-generate my layouts. If you did say auto-generate layouts, it would look it up in the data source and determine what fields that it should render by itself. That takes a little bit of extra time. What we want to do is give it the fields that we actually want to render. Moving right along, we're going to tell it what data source to use, 
Northwind customers with orders. The data type coming back is a JSON array. We're going to enable data filtering, which is actually a pretty cool feature, and you'll see it when we run it. Then these are the two bindings that we're actually going to render. We're using a list view. So the list view has a couple of sections already set up in the view. You can have a header key, a description, an image URL, account. There are different areas of how the list gets rendered, which makes it really easy for you to just assign data tools. That's all we're gonna do here. I'm gonna go ahead and run this in my default browser, which happens to be Google Chrome. And we'll make it look a little bit smaller like it would on a phone. And there we have it. I've got my customer ID and my customer name, and it's running on the screen. I'm gonna copy this URL and run it in Electric Plum, which is a mobile phone emulator, which will emulate an iOS device among others. You can see this is how it would look on my iOS device. You'll notice that I have the select here on the right-hand side, so I can click this and it'll drill down to the hierarchy. The hierarchy I haven't really set up yet, it just automatically took the first two fields that it had in the orders to set up this hierarchy. Let's go ahead and set that up now. Since we're working with an unordered list, we can just add a list item. Let's go into our HTML and click this down here and let's create a list item. I happen to have this set up already. I'm just going to drag this out and we'll set up our child layout. The way this works in the Infragistics mobile list view control you just set the data role to a child layout. Automatically, it's going to say, okay, I have an unordered list. I have items in this list, and now I'm running into a child layout, so I'm going to look at the hierarchy of the data that I have and look for a specific order key. The order key that we wanna look for is orders. So to refresh our memory, let's go back and let me copy this again for you. And we'll put this back into the browser. So now you can see what the data looks like again. And when I paste this in, you can see there's the name of my model, Northwind Customers with Orders. Then as we drill in, you can see all of the information about the customer, and then there's the order key for this particular item. That's what it's going to look for is the orders key. And then it's going to look for the specific fields that I want. In this case, I want ship country, ship name, and total items. Now you'll notice here I'm using the description, a ship country, the text will be shipper name, and then the count will be total items. I have a little different view of this here, so let's go ahead and click save, and I'm gonna run this again in Google Chrome. We'll click this guy again, and like magic, we have a nice layout here which shows all the countries which it's going to, the shipper, and then the total number of items being sent in this order to this particular shipper. So let's go ahead and copy this again. Go to our Electric Plum browser, and I'll paste this in. We'll click that bar again, and you can see our nicely formatted UI. We can click Go Back, click on the next customer, and you can see that the data changes. Now I mentioned filter items before. Let's say we have a long list like we do here, and I wanna filter a few things out. I just type in the filter box here, B-E-R, and I see Bergs. If I type in ALF, I get Alfie. As you can see, the filter makes it really convenient for you to search this list very quickly on your device. And that's it. Congratulations. In just a few minutes, you've created your very first mobile app using the Ignite UI mobile list view. And that's what's in development. See you next time.